Hey man, hey, how are you doing here today? Uh, it's good to see you. Uh, sitting here in the dark in the house because, you know, the power has gone out right now. And, and so I'm sitting here at my computer and uh, I was doing some reading and I came across this verse here in Isaiah chapter number 30, verse number two. And God is talking to his rebellious children and he says, uh, woe, let me back up to verse one. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. Yeah, here's the verse I want to get to, verse 2. <clears throat> that, walk, that walk to go down into Egypt, and have not asked at my mouth, semicolon, to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Now, God is talking to his rebellious people, Israel. And it says here that they go down into Egypt and they ain't bothered to ask of me, you know, what are my thoughts on the subject? Uh, how often are we just like that, Christians? We don't go and do what God wants us to do. Uh, the, we get it in our own head. This is what we need to do. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to go with that particular way there. And we don't bother to ask God. And it leads to problems. Uh, Egypt is a type of the world. Israel had no need to ever go back down into Egypt. We, as Christians, have no need to go back down to Egypt seeking any help or strength from them. Now, it says here, I read that semicolon. Did that for a purpose because a semicolon in Scripture means change of thought, same subject. It says to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. In other words, the king, the god of this world. Uh, Christians. That means us going to Satan, who's our enemy, asking for his help, trying to get strength from him. Uh, and, and I know we're not exactly going directly to Satan to, to ask for this. No, uh, but booze, television, uh, sex, drugs, work, anything and everything that is of this world and not of God. It's us going and trying to strengthen ourselves in things that are not godly. And it's going to cause problems. And it says here to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Now, often you'll read there in the Psalms where the psalmist talks about us in being in the shadow of his wings. Compares God to an eagle. And if you're going to be in the shadow of an eagle's wings and you're a little eaglet, that's the place to be. Because uh, that's where you're going to get the strength from the predators. Protection from them. Uh the uh, eagle starts to get tired, that, that parent eagle will start turning some of the feathers there and it'll create an updraft, pulling the eaglet closer to it. You want to be there. That shadow, wherever that eagle flies, that shadow is going to be there. But now you compare it here with Egypt. It's on ground level. Uh, it's not moving. Okay, That shadow that might be cooling, that might give a little bit of protection from the sun or whatnot, is going to move. It's not going to last. In other words, it's not a good idea to be trusting in it at all. Take, for example, you know, the power here. Uh, I'm trying to work to, to get ready for today's sermon. And power goes out just as I'm about to finish up the sermon so I can get it printed out. Guess what? I was trusting in that power to work. Uh, that caused me some issues because unless the power comes back on, I can't even print out my sermon. I'm not sure how it's actually going to go work for Garage Baptist because I've got no power right now. Uh, kind of put my faith and trust in the wrong thing. It needs to be in God. But when we get back to trusting in God, we get back to stop being so rebellious and start following after him. We're going to start seeing some good results. So let's not walk with the strength of this world. Let's walk with the strength of God. Just a quick takeaway for you.